What is up guys, Ken Ross here, coming at you with another tutorial today, and this is going to be how to make a montage, episode 55, I believe. Um, we're going to be doing this really cool advanced offset tutorial that I was kind of playing with. Um, this this thing is based off of Hovix tutorial, but it's a little different. It's going to show you how to move it between two maps and two clips, instead of like in the same clip. So, um, it looks kind of sudden there, but as you saw in the beginning, when you when you put it together like like really fast... It's only a second long, so when it's going together fast, it looks sweet. So, um, so pretty much it's not that complicated. You're just going to need your two clips. So I'm going to open up a new composition here, hitting Control N or Apple Command N. I'm going to make it 1280 by 720. Blah, 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 blah. Make it 20 seconds long, whatever. So I'm going to take my, uh, my Yeah Buddy clip, I guess. I'll just put that right there. Um, I'm going to zoom in so that I can see the half seconds, like 4.35. I'm going to drag this over a little bit. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look for a point where we're okay with this going down. Like, there I think will look, like there I think would look just fine. So, if, if our clip were to kind of scroll down like it did, Right there, we're just gonna leave that right there. Now we're gonna take our new clip and we're gonna line that up right there. So now we have that. Okay, so we're gonna take our new clip and duplicate it twice. And we're gonna hide the top two layers. And then the top layer is gonna go all the way to the end. And then that's gonna be our clip that plays afterwards. So yeah, but but before we do that, hang on, let me undo that. Before we do that, we want to find a point. I'm just going to delete these two top clips. We're going to want to find a point where it's going to be good for our gun to come in. Where there's not much movement. So I'd say like right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit alt left bracket to shorten the clip. And then we're going to go to right click time, enable time remapping. And see this is on our like, I'd say almost like our second mark. Here, let me see if I can move this at all. Is that cool? Yeah, the gun still looks good. Okay, so now we have this. Now we're going to want to duplicate that twice. Um, we're going to go to the end point where the clip should continue. And we're going to hit left bracket on the top layer. Then we're going to go back to hiding these two. So now we have these two. Um, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to freeze frame both of those. Go to time, freeze frame. So now those are both stuck on this frame, which is exactly what we want. Uh, we're going to here, here, uh, come and click on the bottom clip, and then we're going to hit enter to rename it, and then we're going to rename it gun. And then this is going to be after clip. This is going to be before clip. And then this is going to be gun background. Okay. So now that we have that, we're going to want to start our offset with our before clip. So we're going to go to our effects and presets, type in offset, drag it onto our before clip, and then, um, so now that we have our offset with our before clip, we're going to go right here, or mute all the audio, probably should do that, um, but we have our right here, so, oh, excuse me, um, we're going to hit the keyframe, the shift center two, go forward ha um, half a second, and then type the 360, and then do shift eight, so you get this kind of star, like a multiplication, and then times five. And you'll see if it goes through here. If we uh, mute that layer, if it goes through here, bam, it does it times five, which is sweet. But first, we need to freeze frame this, so we're going to right click that time freeze frame so like a boss just like that now we need to do the offset for our gun background um, so we're gonna drag the offset onto the gun background layer uh, go to the the middle where this before clip keyframe ended this is where we want this one to start so keyframe it there and then oh god Okay, keyframe the shift center two there, and then do the same thing, 360, shift eight, just to make the multiplication sign, and then five. So it's going to be like, what the? Oh, whoops, we got to keyframe this first. 
So 360 right there at our, at our middle point. And then we go to the end. And then we're going to change it to 360 times 5. And it's going to be like... Now what we want to do is we want to trim that gun background to our middle keyframe here. So we're just going to trim it just to there. Or you can use alt left bracket, whatever you choose. It's going to be like this is going to remove. Then it's going to hit into that. And then it's going to play afterwards if we have this on and then it's just gonna play afterwards so that's how that looks for right now now comes the kind of tedious part now we have to mask out our gun which is kind of annoying but it's all good um, so now we're gonna turn the gun layer on and we're just gonna mask this out I'm gonna do a really sloppy job here I'm not gonna lie but when you're masking this out make sure you guys do a good job because I I did an example yesterday and in one of the examples, I did a, uh, a really bad gun mask, and I it was, looked horrible. So um, make sure you do a good mask. It, it really does make a big difference. This is taking long enough as it is. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause the tutorial, and then I'm going to cut to the end when I have the mask done. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm just about to complete my mask here, so I'll just end it. Um, and as you can see, it is a very, very shitty mask. Um, yeah, so like I said, if you're going to do a mask, make sure you do it well. It's going to make a difference. So now we're just, we're just on our gun layer, just going to hit MM and to bring up our mask options. And on the mask feather, change it to 3 pixels. So it just kind of fades a little bit there. Um, or you can do, see how this looks. I haven't tried this, negative 3. It doesn't matter, whatever you guys want to do. Um, maybe because I didn't actually put it in. Yeah, it's what it's whatever. It's whatever you guys want to do. So um so that now that we have our gun, we have to keyframe the positioning here. Um so we're gonna go to uh we're gonna hit P on our gun layer and keyframe the position. Now we want to move this keyframe all the way to the end since this is where we want it to end up. Um and then here at the beginning here. We want it to go all the way down. So we're going to take that 360 marker and change it to about um, 760. Yeah, we're going to take the 360 marker and change it to 760. Now we want to uh, highlight these keyframes and then hit F9 on our keyboard to make them easy ease, and that'll make the key uh, that'll make it much smoother. Um, so yeah, that's always really good. It's always a bonus. But as we can see here, our gun layer gets hidden by this layer, and it just looks really messed up. So we want to take this gun layer and move it all the way to the top, even after the uh, um, after clip. So on our after clip, excuse me, on our gun layer, we want to split it here at the end to make it so it doesn't hide over our after clip, just like that. So uh, there we go. Now our gun gun comes up throughout the entire transition, but it still looks a little bad because it's too choppy in the middle. It's too of a just bam sudden change. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a fade. Or, I'm sorry, no, we're gonna add a blur. Blur makes it look 20 times better. So we're just gonna want to search in our effects and presets for fast blur. Um, and then here we want to go to layer new adjustment layer and bring the adjustment layer below the gun because we don't want the gun to be blurred. We want people to focus on the gun and then the, the background will change. And that's what makes it so subtle. And we're just going to rename this blur. And we're going to drag the fast blur on the adjustment layer. And now at the beginning here, where all our keyframes start, we're going to keyframe the blurriness. And then we want to hit repeat edge pixels. Now we want to go to the middle where these two keyframes meet. Change it to 50. And you see if you take off repeat edge pixels, how these kind of get black. You don't want that. So repeat edge pixels, and then go back to the end now and change it to zero. And that is it for your um that's it for your transition, guys. I think it looks really nice. I'm really proud of this. Uh I said I spent like 40, 45 minutes in After Effects perfecting it yesterday. So I hope you guys like it. I'm really happy with it. Um thank you all so much for watching, and I'll check y'all later. I'm out. Peace.